Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands with Lord Shu, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. We back. It's another episode. What's good? I hope your day's been well. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome home, family. If you're new to the channel, stick around. Y'all click that like button. Leave a comment let me know how I can make these videos better. Today we are talking about team building. We're still in the book itself in Hybrid Manual. If you haven't downloaded the free book, just go to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, and you can get this entire book for free. If you want a hard copy, you can just go to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, and you can buy a hard copy, or go to amazon.com and type in Hybrid Manual. So let's get into it, team building. These are the four types of people that you need on your team that's gonna make everything work out. You are one of them, so you gotta figure out what role you play inside of your team. So let's go to Hybrid Manual. When you form your company, you need these four types of people in your group, including yourself, like I said. An initiator, someone who proposes ideas. The researcher, who finds the information to achieve the idea. Then you have the doer. This person will follow the researcher's work and make the idea tangible and the supporter. This person keeps the team cohesive and sees the big picture for the entire team. This team will help marketing who you are as a person and turn you into a household name and they'll make that possible. So your reputation among your peers starts with what people say after you have left the room or before you even arrive. Your day-to-day -day actions will leave an impact on people as you do things exactly in alignment with who you are as a person. The way you carry yourself is the focal point of your brand, so you have to find ways to express your new unique skills in your daily actions and also being transparent about who you are makes it easy for people to relate with you and embrace your gifts and own your weaknesses. So basically what that boils down to is who you are on a daily basis will make the difference in how you attract customers, how you attract people that are your soul tribe, how you attract the people who truly believe in your vision. You know, some people might not be made to be leaders or bosses and have businesses, right? You want to be that person for them if that's what you are, if you're a leader yourself. Now, if you're looking for a leader to lead you, then that's like I said earlier, you need to know what role you play. I'm gonna go back over these specific roles one more time so that you can understand what role that you might play in this and then find the people that fit the other roles in your life. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it slow for you. You have the initiator. The initiator is someone who proposes the idea. So this would be the leader. The leader has the idea, he goes to the team and he says, hey, this is the idea. But he's gonna go to the researcher first and that's the next person. The researcher is going to get the information necessary for the idea of the initiator to turn it into a tangible idea. Now, the researcher is just finding the information because that's what he's good at. Data, finding the data. He takes that data and he goes to the doer. The Notice that the initiator has already proposed the idea and now the team is handling the, the parts to create it. So now the researcher goes to the doer. Now the doer is there created and then you have the supporter this person is the glue the cohesion of the group now when you have this type of person they're going to make sure that each individual part of the team is doing their job to the best of their ability by being a support also they see the bigger picture they want to see the completion of the initiators idea so that when it's done they're going to inspect it make sure everything's good then they're going to take it to the initiator and say hey this is what the team has created, we work together, this is your idea. I think it's good, you should, you know, the, if anything, the, the initiator, or if you're the initiator, you and the supporter should have a, a similar brainwave when it comes to quality control and final outcome of any project that y'all may be working on. Y'all should be lined up and like, hey, okay, this is what this is supposed to look like. I like this, this will work. When you have your team moving like that, it's an assembly line. And not one person is uh, bogged down by too much work or too much information. The right people are doing the right jobs and everyone's happy. And that's when you get high quality work. And with less amount of tries, you get high quality work and communication is straightforward because everybody knows what their role is. Find your role in this group 
and build on who you are in that group. You know, find what hard skills and soft skills you need to be the best in your role. And then find people who fit the other roles so that y'all can complete projects with the highest degree of quality, okay? So that's it for today's episode. Y'all, please click that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better. Also, press the subscribe button, man. If you know this video can help someone, share this video with someone as well. So until next episode, y'all, holla!